Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna share a bunch of crazy stories about chicken. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I start this video, I have a few announcements that I first want to make. The first announcement is that you want to support me financially, you can do so on paypal.com and patreon.com. And for my social media accounts on the internet, I have Facebook, Twitter, and Minds.com to support me. The stories I'm going to talk about in this video come from different countries. The first two stories are from the United States, and the last story, of course, comes directly from Spain. However, the story in Spain is way different than the story about the two restaurants that I'm going to talk about in this video. More recently at Popeyes, they introduced a chicken sandwich, and pretty much this chicken sandwich was just so popular that the whole entire stock for the next month was completely out for an entire week. And basically, there are so many YouTubers who are comparing the Chick-fil-A sandwich and the Popeye sandwich together, and they're pretty interesting. It's a sandwich so popular that people in Texas are going inside the store to rob the store for chicken sandwiches. I'm not even joking. Robbers storm a Popeyes in Houston demanding chicken sandwiches at gunpoint after being told that the location was sold out. According to a local Houston news channel, two women and three men approached the Popeyes carrying at least one gun as they were told that the sandwiches were sold out at the drive through window. That is so crazy, just absolutely crazy. Like, the main reason why I think it's so crazy is because there is no sandwich on earth that is worth using a gun over. Like, I get it, like, people want to try that sandwich. I understand that mentality. I myself want to try that chicken sandwich too. However, it is not worth using a gun on an employee just because they're the bearer of bad news. Like, come on guys, just calm down. University of Kansas facility protests Chick-fil-A on campus and fear of mental well-being. A new Chick-fil-A in the University of Kansas Student Union has prompted outcry from facility who see the addition as potentially harmful. In an open letter, members of the school's sexuality and gender diversity facility and staff council open up about the potential dangerous messages Chick-fil-A involvement in the student body could cause. Look guys, I completely understand why some people do not agree with the Christian values that Chick-fil-A has. For example, Chick-fil-A like, closes on Sunday, and also Chick-fil-A does not believe in gay marriage. Like the CEO said, like basically, he believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. And I can see why there are some people who disagree. That's fine. However, to shut down an entire restaurant just because they have a difference of opinion is a bit obsessive, if you were to ask me. Not only that, but I also believe that basically, like, I don't think most people actually really care about this kind of stuff. Like, basically the people at Chick-fil-A, in my experiences, don't really care about any kind of people. Like, they serve anybody, really. Like, they serve black people, they serve white people, they serve women. They sell, like, the chicken sandwiches for LGBT people. And I'm pretty sure that Chick-fil-A also has LGBT people working for them, too. So I don't think just because a person who is a CEO says something wrong does not mean that the company, of course, endorsed those kind of views. Because basically, they've always been nice to me, and I'm sure they've been nice to gay people too. And of course, the final story comes directly from Spain, and oh my god guys, like this story is also ridiculous. What happened in Spain was that basically a vegan group stated that they want to separate the hens from the roosters, and the main reason why they want to separate the hens from the roosters is because basically they think that the chickens will rape each other. I'm not even joking guys. They think that the hens and the roosters are going to rape each other. Take a look. Los huevos son de las gallinas. Nosotros les devolvemos sus huevos porque son suyos. En este caso, los huevos no están fecundados porque nosotras eh, tuvimos que separar los gallos porque no queríamos que les violaran, aunque fueran su naturaleza. What can I say about this video that have not been said before? Like, people are just going crazy over chicken. 
chicken sandwiches, banning chicken restaurants. Just please, guys, for the love of God, just calm down. Just calm down. It's just chicken. It's just chicken sandwiches. And no, chickens do not rape each other. Just <laughs> please don't give me that image right there. <laughs> Why would anybody believe that kind of nonsense? But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.